how is the going guys mutemo you're back again with another video so guys in today's video you can see i have this beach photo right here so this is the photo where we'll be taking i shot it at, uh and the cost and um it's simply you can see uh we are right here in camera raw filter and what we'll do i will retouch this photo from scratch many people have been telling me to do um a full body retouch and i decided to retouch this photo i shot it uh in cost and uh if i could show you my setting here you can see it's uh iso 160 85 millimeter millimeter lens f 2.8 and shutter speed of one of a 2000 s um uh, the first thing i'll do i'll do the normal adjustment the basic adjustment to remain with the normal colors of this picture so what I'll do, let's go to the basic adjustments. Uh, the first thing I'll do, of course, I'll reduce the highlights up to that level right there. Uh, reduce the whites up to that level like that. And of course, uh, reduce the blacks to that level like that. Then I'll uh, come here. I'll push the temperature like that to get more yellows. And the tint towards the tint area the magenta for it to look like that uh, let me zoom in a little bit the next thing i'll do i'll go to clarity and push it up a little bit then i'll go down here the fibers push it up like that and then the saturation a little bit like that uh, what i'll do of course again i'll go to the da's here and then push it to get more contrast on the image and if I could show you before, after, uh, you can see the, the, the photo you was looking a little bit pale. And now after we have done that, you can see we have, we have recovered some details in our image. And then I'll, uh, on the shadows, of course, I'll push them up a little bit to reduce. The photo was bright, so I didn't need to increase the shadow that much, but I'll push the shadows up. Uh, to a level like that let's say 20 that's perfect you can see before after before after uh, i'll proceed to open this photo in photoshop and do the full edit retouch and color grading uh, with you guys so open now guys we have our photo here the first thing of course i'll have to remove this soft box appearing right here i use one single light and the sun because it was around uh the sunset time so i use one light and uh just one light without diffusers and the sunlight as the backlight so i'll pick my uh this patch tool right here and then just draw on this soft box like that then go to fill go to edit fill then select content aware mode normal opacity at 100 then say okay sorry about that guys you can see the the softbox has been removed but you can see there are some pictures which has been copied direct from the need to to try to fill that area so just draw it again like that then edit fill content aware so that can copy this area from this to fill it with this other side hope it works you can see how it looks if it doesn't work perfectly remember we're cropping this picture to the photoshop size so don't be worried don't worry about so just draw and drag like that but what i'll do now i'll just crop, crop this image to the instagram size and the size that will be favoring favorable to me so i hit that way is okay so what i'll do of course i'll go to crop and then select 4.5 then i'll drop this down to make sure uh the the area where the 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 effects the 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 content aware didn't work well it's it's not fit it's not appearing on my image so that way is perfect then say okay now we have a cropped image and a clean image the first thing i'll do i'll do frequency separation this is how i'll do uh 
uh, my my camera is a 24 megapixel camera and that means i never get so much details more when i shoot on a um, lower aperture that's 2.8 so i'll use a method called dust and scratches method which removes uh any 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 blemishes or and like balances the skin texture and the skin colors of a photo to make it look uniform so that when you're doing color grading uh, it, the photo already looks nice so what i'll do of course i'll duplicate this image twice Control j twice let's name this i texture i texture let's rename this low texture so i'll disable the eye texture then select on the low texture go to filter uh instead of going to blur gaussian blur come down here noise dust and scratches then you zoom in your image and you reduce this radius to one identify a place in your model skin where you guess the texture is a little bit high and then you can zoom out a little bit then just push it like that until it disappears and and still and don't put your eyes on this dialog box put your eyes on the original image so i guess three four is perfect then say okay uh, after you have done that the next method you just do the same way as you do with Gaussian blur so go to image apply image then select the low texture then select uh, subtract uh, scale to offset 128 preserve transpa transparency and mask not selected and invert not selected channel RGB then say okay now change the blending mode to linear light perfect now create a black and white layer on top of this image so that you can see the highlights in the shadow perfectly because that make highlights and shadows make up an image so okay now i'll zoom in my image and start with the forehead what i'll do i like retouching my photos mostly the forehead this area here i prefer retouching it inverted or upside down so what i'll do i'll rotate my image how will i rotate my image just press r in your keyboard then move like this to a level where you think your image is perfect and now you can start your retouch which area let me try to see which side is okay with me but most i retouch because of the nose area i have to rotate so that i can get that straight like exactly how the model's face look like then i come here pick my mixer brush tool of course it's a very it's a soft brush i make sure it's a clean brush um, of course it has to clean after every stroke wetness 10 load 75 mix 90 and flow at 100 percent and i'll put here zero degrees uh sometimes you can use a wetness of nine but for me i use wetness of 10. Uh, you can see there are small blemishes on the model skin i prefer removing them after i'm done with my frequency separation so uh, press r to rotate the level where you want how you want your image pick your mixer brush tool then let's brush this shadow right here and then let's brush this shadow right here and then let's brush the whole highlight like that the whole face guess that's perfect yeah that's nice uh, remember you don't want to lose the highlights and the shadows and the skin texture so another thing i'll do i want to brush this hair just to see you the baby hairs and the hair to just blend in with the, my retouch of the forehead so just like that to make sure it looks nice perfectly now what i'll do of course i'll rotate my image like this and uh i working on this nose area pick my mixer brush tool to just click if you want to you press r to rotate and you want to go back to your brush immediately you can just press b in your keyboard and you'll get your brush back so what i'll do i'll just do like this not so much 
I'm not pressing so much on the or I'm not pressing my pen so much so yeah like that and then this then straight line like that to just make sure you're doing as like with no much effort just like that to get the perfect details of the nose like that you can see i've already shaped the nose and if i could disable the black and white you can see our image these small blemishes i'll definitely remove them after i'm done with the frequency separation okay rotate again <coughs> sorry <coughs> and then brush this shadow right here like that to get the original shape of the model's face like that uh, any blemish I'm removing them immediately after I'm done with the frequency separation just this area like this you can see the Sun was actually very bright so I was using so much power on my light to guess if I could just select crop to rotate to put my image on a straight mode then zoom out a little bit uh, you can see we have managed to retouch the face now i want to retouch the other parts of the model's body and now do dodge and burn and color grading so zoom in a little bit pick your mixer brush tool let's start with the neck area i'm not putting so much effort or emphasize emphasizing too much i'm just showing you how you can retouch these images mostly when you have shot with a low aperture because sometimes i'll in the next video i'll show you a photo i shot with 2.5 because sometimes the photos the the texture of the skin is never too high when you shoot with low apertures here if you can see i'm really careful i don't want to lose an highlight i'm just touching and just passing yeah, we do, we're doing good. Touch this area like that. Very carefully. I don't want to lose this bone right here. Like very carefully retouching perfectly to make sure your photo comes out nice. So I want to get this straight. So I just put it like that. Pick my brush again. Then just brush straight like that <coughs> sorry guys I, I hope you're following along because i've been asked how do i retouch full body images no one no matter what aperture you used no matter if you used it depends with the aperture to get the textures of the of the model skin or the details of the skin or how your image will be will look but if the textures or the colors are well balanced hope you're following along i uh, yeah and if you like this video don't forget to share or subscribe to my youtube channel because uh, more videos are coming your way and I will always do a spa request. Uh, my apologies from the last video. The lads I put there, I had to remove them. Yeah. But today's video, you can see I've edited it from scratch. I'll show you how to color grade without using any LUT or just. You can see, guys, what we have done there. You can see this highlight is popping. I'll just remove this darkness a little bit and a photo is uniformly retouched i'll put everything in a group and show you before and after and yeah and how to make this photo pop even after you have done frequency separation this area of the hand like this You can see where there is a shadow, the highlight, I'm just retouching everything alone because uh, so the sun was very harsh and I don't want to 
just mess up the model skin but i'll try to blend in this to just balance right there like that yeah because i can perfect yeah continue you can see uh when we did some basic adjustment we managed to recover the color of the top and everything the outfit so yeah so i want to rotate this like this to just get the uh, so if you've been asking me how i do full body retouch this is how i do full body retouch step by step and um, make sure i'm not losing an highlight you can this see that highlight there i made sure i didn't lose it because when you blend the highlights and the shadows you you end up losing and you won't get so much dimension in a photo and dimensions are the best in a photo because they show the photo is sharp even if it's not so sharp you can see i'm um, every detail even the water details here i'm not like overdoing it to just remove them i'm making sure the photo is smooth well retouched but still looks as original as possible the sand there so if you've been asking me how i retouch full body portraits this your tutorial so you can see where the this uh shadow is mixing with highlight so these are called mid tones and what i'll do i'll just blend in like this to to the transition to be very smooth from the shadow right up there to the highlight there so then like this but if the this leg was very bright or it was sh like the sun was so bright on this leg uh i could i won't it have any but because the shadow or the skin was just neutral that's how i blended that way and made sure it's smooth the transition is very smooth okay perfect now we have retouched the whole image if i could just put all these here in a group all this in a group and show you this is how our image looked before we did frequency separation and now this is how our image looks after we have done frequency separation now remember there was two small small blemishes on the model skin you can see right here here and on the face so what i'll do i'll go pick my clone stamp tool and then let's select on the eye texture then of course sample and paste like that sample and paste sample and paste to just remove the small small remaining blemishes to make sure the model skin looks amazing before we do dodge and burn like that like that perfect perfect remove i, I don't want to remove the sand too much because i want the originality of the photo to look amazing this area right here if we can just sample a bigger part right here like this and just apply it like this i guess it will balance or we can just use the lasso tool the patch tool and i'm sure it will work let me continue removing this small small blemishes right here to just make sure the photo you can see i haven't over retouched the photo i just balanced the skin tones the colors and everything together to make sure the photo looks nice and yeah the next step will be dodge and burn and i'll be using the curves method so let's say up to that level we good the photo if i could show you the before guess this was before we did frequency separation and this after we have done frequency separation the next thing i'll do i'll do dodge and burn what i'll do i'll go to curves and uh, i just pick this and then select on this highlight right here and then push up like that and then 
we'll just invert this and call this uh, dodge and then of course again on curves uh, look for shadow a place where the shadow there is shadow then push it down like that like that and then invert this and then rename this burn okay create a black and white layer again on top of this to make sure the highlights and the shadows are actually very visible and let's start with the highlights pick your brush select on the dodge reduce the flow to something like two make sure it's a very soft brush the hardness is at zero and then let's start with this highlight right here let's enhance it perfect this color bond right here this highlight you can see i'm targeting the highlights the most the highlighted areas uh, this highlight on the forehead like that and i'm not overdoing it anywhere there is an highlight i'm just passing the brush there to make sure it looks nice you can see this highlight on the leg so i'll just rotate it like that then brush like this i'm doing as less work as possible to just create that dimension on the model skin that shows that this photo was actually very sharp and even though it wasn't because we used a low aperture and yeah dodge and burn shows the dimensions and the die like brings that dimension and depth in our photo you can see what we are doing there let's retouch this you can see these other highlights here caused by the sun okay so i'll go to burn and i'll just burn this area like there and this right there this may be a little bit there there yes if i could show you before and after what we have done with the dodge and burn i put all this in a group before after you can see this that dimension in the photo now the next thing i'll do guys i'm doing color grading so what i'll do i'll select control shift or command shift and e in the keyboard sorry 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 control shift e in the keyboard to create okay control alt shift and e to the in the key on the keyboard sorry guys uh to create this new layer of everything magic layer of the dojen band uh, let's call this uh uh frequent separation and call this dodge and ban actually let's delete this because i want to see step by step what i have done on this image you can see it frequent separation dodge and ban the next thing i'll do color grading with the color grading, I'll make sure I have, I have I've brightened every color in this image. Okay, so what I'll do, of course, I'll go to, I'll go to, I'll go to new adjustment layer, then select levels. What I, I want to bring that contrast in this image to make sure it looks nice. So press Alt in your keyboard, then push this button in like that, somewhere like seven like that and then this other one right here the highlights inside a little bit like that and the neutrals you can push them to any way you think they'll make the photo look nice these are the shadows these are the highlights and these are the mid-tones of the neutrals that's perfect let's see what we have done with that that's nice the next time do of course go to selective color new adjustment layer selective color and then select on the black color then push this to this side like that and then the yellows this side like that and then you can see the cyan you can just bring them to any side you feel it will let's say negative two that's perfect 
Then on the same selective color, go to reds, push reds up like that, and then the yellows inside like that. Then on the yellows, push the yellows like this, and then the yellows negative uh, two. That's perfect. Uh -huh. The next thing I'll do, I'll go to color balance, uh, push these threads up like that, and the yellows on the towards the blue, blue side, sorry, blue side like that, and then reduce this to something like plus four. That's the mid tone. On the highlights, you can push them to any side, you can push them towards the yellow or the negative blue and then push this to any side that favors you and then let's not work with the magendas and then on the shadows let's say push this uh to the side that will favor you on the yellows and the reds or on the towards the cyan negative two negative one and let's say negative three up to that level i guess we're good then go to photo filter and then select photo cooling filter 82 and you get this image look like but you have to reduce this to the sides to the level that will favor your image up to that level i guess we're good perfect then go to black black and white perfect then change this to luminosity change the blending mode to luminosity then let's put all this in a group. You can reduce the opacity a little bit somewhere like there. Then let's put all this in a group. And let's call this color grading. Color grading picture because we're still color grading the background. Color grading subject. Perfect. Come right here, down here, of course. And uh, what you'll do, uh, select subject. After the subject is selected, make sure you balance the selection. Of course, pick your selection tool right here. And then on the, on the minus side, make sure you just draw like this to because we're working on the selection only. Perfect, perfect. Now, what I'm doing, I want to work on the background, the background only. This is how we'll work on the background. Come here, go to selective color. Then, invert this because we want to work on the background only so select right click here it will show this dialog box of all the selective colors but i want to reduce the feathering to make sure it won't be visible the line between the background and the image won't be sharp the difference so then reduce the feathering to something increase the feathering to something like let's say four perfect this method is called masking and masking is the best method of working with the background alone then right click right here and then go direct to let's say let's start with the blacks what i'll do instead of instead of pushing this inside i can push it this way but let's push it this inside like that and then on the on the yellows push them to this side like that If you are keen, I'm sure you see the difference. Or another method we can actually, if we have put all this in a group, do like this, Control, Alt, Shift, and E to create a layer on top of this. Now what I'll do, of course, I'll select the subject. I want to perfect the selection, so reduce. I want to make it very perfect. If you get lost, guys, please just 
Go back to the tutorial and start afresh and trust me, you'll understand it. Now I want to work on the background only. How will I work on the background only? Come here, select, selective color. Invert this subject. You can see when you select selective color, it goes up with the, with the, the selection you had made of the image. But we want to work on the background. How will we work on the background? Anywhere there, where there is white, that's where we want to adjust. So just control I to invert your image. The next thing I'll do, select. Let's start with the blacks. If you push like here, you can see how the the the, the color looks on this. So, so or if you push like this, you can see how they, they stand out. So let's push it. Let's say something like that. And let's push this to something like that. Perfect. Now we want to work on this white, this white of the sea. What we'll do, go to whites. I want to give them the blue color of the sea, something like that. And then I will we push this like that. Let's say that way, and then increase the contrast. Perfect. Which other, which other color is on the background? Let's see the grids. You can push them to something like that. And then the magenta to anywhere you want it, the yellows, and then the contrast. Uh, I guess there's no other color on the background. So what I'll do, I'll reduce now the contrast of the background. What I'll do, I'll go to increase the contrast of the background and then reduce the brightness. What I'll do, new adjustment layer, and then select brightness and contrast. But remember, we're working on the background only. So what I'll do, I'll press Alt in my keyboard and just drag this up like this. And then say, replace layer mask, then say yes. Right click right here. Right click again right here because we didn't feather. Feather reach to the level that is enough for you. Perfect. Now what I'll do, right click right here and then just uh, reduce the brightness like that. Of I'm reducing the brightness of the background and increasing the contrast of the background to just make our image even pop more perfect that's how you do color grading of the background let's put all this in a group and let's call this background background color grading color grade grade up to that level we're good you can see the background without this and after the image sorry the image before after uh the background after that's how i do uh full outdoor edit but one remaining thing is making the eyes white of course i go to my actions then run the eye and teeth whitening then just Select this arrow, then select on the photo filter. Then just pick your brush tool, make sure it's a soft brush, increase the flow. And just whiten your eyes. Guys, when you're shooting and, uh, against the sun, it's actually very hard to get catch lights, mostly if you're doing full body portrait but if you focus is nice you'll get sharp images reduce the flow a little bit just make it look as original as possible just reduce the opacity something like that and yeah guys if i could just put all this in a group and show you how much we have done in our photo i've done frequency separation Dodge and burn, color grading with no action or no LUT, uh, for background color grading and uh, eye and teeth whitening. So these are image looks immediately. We immediately we edited it from uh, camera raw and direct to Photoshop after we did some adjustments in camera raw. And this is the image after we have done frequency separation, dodge and burn, color grading, color grading the background and eye and teeth whitening. 
if you enjoyed this video please don't forget to subscribe and if you're new here also don't forget to subscribe share this video share to your friends of course guys this first of all is a full body portrait it's, it's an outdoor photo and that's what many people have been struggling with and if if you are in, if you like this video please don't forget to share subscribe and see you in the next video where i show you how to edit more and color grade more see you guys in the next video before after before after before after and now we call that magic peace out